Hey everybody, this is Ryan's Washer Videos, and today I just wanted to let you all know, sorry it's been a while since I haven't d done the uh, Maytag washer in a while because of the stuff I have to deal with, so uh, including the live stream, same thing I said, so this is, this is before I have to begin this video, I wanted to give you all a recirculation pump update. It is finally getting stronger since a uh, long time. It was a week that Pat Cola told me about it. So it looks like the recirculator is happy today. So it's finally going to recirculate some more clothes finally instead of something getting weaker. And I'm really glad I never get to get the chance to get this Q-tip stick deep in here. That way I don't want the uh, recirculator to clog again. So right now, it's finally getting stronger to recirculate again, finally. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water out and then I'll begin the video. Okay, back to the video. I wanna let you all know, I should go ahead and give a shout out to Maytag Machine Maniac that he did the video of the GE washer, what happens that the drain spin cycle right here, you see uh, right here, I can adjust the drain spin cycle if you, cho if you choose a selection on a spin right here. If you see off right here, that means you have no spin. And then if you have other selections, low, medium, high, you see fast right here is only just a full speed, except for the uh, delicate cycle you'll see. So, uh, <clears throat> only normal cycle you see, uh, if you have off settings, that means your time decreases, maybe it decreases 20 minutes, and then if you select or adjustment for spin speed, well, while your normal cycle is selected, you have no low spin right here, only if you choose low spin, Choose the other cycles that you want, except for these right here. Clean washer can't work with it. Only it does automatically clean. So, only medium or high. Or if you want off, then it'll decrease. Then, if you want to hang dry it, then you can leave the spin speed off. But we're, n we're not actually going to do that, actually. We're just actually using normal use machines. So, again, normal cycle. If you if you think of so selecting the low spin right here, it only does the medium speed right here. Well, weird fact is that the machine only spins on high. This isn't what we select on uh, the high spin right here. If you see medium speed right here on normal cycle during the final spin. It does the it does the full speed extract for about two minutes I I guess. And well if you choose one of those whatever cycles. Well if you select fast right here, and then if you select different soil levels, then if you have heavy clothes in here, then it'll do its extension spin. Doing its full extension spin. Well without it, of course you see hour and 36 minutes and yes my family uses that not much of it if they need the wash wash it powerfully then they should use extra power that way that the washer can do its uh, second wash before maybe doing its second rinse well not just because of this extra rinse all right anyways you'll see uh Heavy duty right here, you'll see low speed if you choose that, then your clothes will be spin gently dry. Including the medium speed, it'll do its little bit of a full speed, which is the intermittent spin to uh, maybe around 850 or 700 RPMs, including the wrinkle control, aka Perm press cycle, you'll see. Uh, if you select one of those fast spin, it doesn't do full speed. You'll see. Uh, 
you'll see uh, this will do its A50 RPMs because if you select a medium or low something else maybe it should do its uh, 700 RPMs well I choose that to make sure if it's been dried enough so delicate you'll see I have to put this on medium it does its 700 RPMs including 400 RPMs on the low speed which is the default settings on uh, without this yeah 43 minute is the default settings so that's without it right now so alright anyways including the quick wash and everything you can also select drain spin with the uh, if you don't select it then your minute mark will go on one minute and doing its final tumble before the end of the cycle. Low spin can do probably around 400 RPMs or 700 RPMs because I haven't tested that just yet. We'll do it in the future, maybe next video or something, or live stream. Medium can do its 850 and 1160 RPMs on those. I'll show you the diagnostic mode later after if I showed you the off spin, which is you'll you'll not believe this. So let's get to it. It takes a while to uh I mean it takes a little while to lock the door itself oh yeah and also you can also select the uh, 12 hour fresh spin if you need that well during the end of the cycle you it, it will it will be available Yeah, it does that someday. And there, as you can see, only the washing machine can drain the water out. And now you'll see the spin is is no longer engaging while the spin speed is off you'll see it'll do its final tumble before it'll do its but before it'll do its chime cycle this might take a little while for a last tumble which is I'll go ahead and skip it and there you got you'll see the end in, you'll you'll see the end right here that means your washing machine is finished right now. Well, but there's no clothes to be spin dried right now. So again, as you can see, end right here. That means no spin engaged, and you'll see a last tumble before the end of the cycle. All right, now it is time to see if you if you all wanted to see that what happens if this works in diagnostic mode. Just like the last video, uh, during the clean washer cycle, uh, again, just like during the last video of the clean washer cycle, I tried to spin this tub a little bit. It seems like it's slowing the tub down and letting it tumble. So, test number seven is the spin. So this might take a little while to engage it. Now it's starting to tumble and wait and wait and see if you're all curious if you see the basket is rotating that means it's sensing on something and when the clothes gets heavy you know what it is. Listen to it.
Yeah, you see the uh, basket slows down. That means you'll see, you can still see the tumbling action. That means your cycle has no spin selection on the drain spin cycle. So you'll see, if you see the tub slowing down, that means it's trying to redistribute the clothes to make it more balanced. So to make it spin again, you'll have to uh, put this on drain spin and select your spin speed to turn it back on. That way your basket will properly spin again. And now I have to stop it until I have to put this on drain and spin to uh, put the uh, spin back on. Oh, wait, uh, sure. <laughs> I almost forgot to turn the power on. So, again, if your spin speed is off while your basket is not doing its uh, spin test, you have to go ahead and select whatever speeds you like. Well, as long as you run the cycles, then it, it should save. Or if you just, if you did adjust the cycle, and then put it back here, that means your <coughs> saving settings will be right here. So if you select one of it, and then if you run it, then that means your cycle settings will be saved. So I'm not going to run it full speed. I just want to go ahead and... Uh, <clears throat> spin that a little bit making sure if you're all wondering how this works and the uh, heater is engaging right now okay um, I should stop here until uh, the heater will turn off because it might be a little noisy so I'll come back to it alrighty back in business so Again, if you did choose one of those drain and spin settings, and then if you run one of those with the settings on the spin, then if you turn it off, and then if you go on diagnostic mode here, you'll see what happens that the spin basket will spin or not. Because again, if you select off right here, that means the uh, that means the spin basket won't rev up the speed. It just decides to redistribute the clothes, like re redistribute something. Maybe it'll do its uh, tumbling mode or something. So, again, pressing start. Almost didn't hear the relay or something. So again, drain and spin. If you select the spin speed right here. And then if you go on diagnostic mode, then you'll see what happens that the tub will directly spin to do a, a speed test. So you all thought this is going to redistribute. We'll see. And, uh, I used to have problems with this machine uh, while I'm trying to rev this basket up it just decided to stop or maybe around 600 rpms or 700 rpms it decided to stop and uh, re-spin it and it does it over and over and over so I have to put this on drain spin to make sure that the uh, basket is rotating and spinning properly And now, as you can see, that the, the tub is finally revving up. Nothing is going to slow down and redistribute something. And then you'll hear the drive will increase, increasing the speed to 850 RPMs. You know, this drive is completely quiet, as you can hear.
So yeah, whole diagnostic video. Link in the description if you want to watch it. Including the 012 test. I'll put this here as well. So there you have it. So again, shout out to Maytag Machine Maniac as the GE washer, what happens at the drain spin with no spin selected. And then you'll see what happened that the diagnostic mode will do its thing. Whether if you select it or not. Because if you didn't select it, then it should slow down and redistribute. And if you select it, then if, as long as your cycle is saved while running. So if you select it, then that means that your basket will finally rotate it properly to do its spin test. I'll let it run for a little while because a uh, recirculation test. I want to let you all know about it since back in April. That way you'll see the recirculator's weak. So now on, it's finally getting stronger to recirculate some clothes again. As you can finally see now time to turn this off. Let the basket decelerate. Waiting for the door. If it doesn't unlock, maybe it's no big deal or we'll have to see the problem. If it does unlock, then it's perfectly normal. Now it's perfectly normal. All right, there you have the video. This was the washing machine. What happens? The drain spin selected with no spin. That's what happens. So again, shout out to Maytag Machine Maniac for the video. I'll put the link in the description here. That way you'll see his video of his full cycle on his machines or other machines like that or anything like that. So we'll see if we can do another Maytag washer videos anytime. Including maybe we should do the dryer overview, which is I did the whole tour of this machine last video. And now we'll see if we can do that next video for the whole tour on the dryer. Alright, that's all there is on the washer with the drain spin with no spin selection. So, hope you liked it and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.